So, my day off, it's officially over. I usually only get one of these per week because I work constantly. Why do I work constantly? Because I want to go home. And right now, I'm in my home, away from home. And this is coming home with me, eventually. Well, hello. I'm glad you've decided to join me. And I'm even more glad that I've seen some new people interested in what I have to say. That's quite flattering, because personally, I wouldn't want to listen to some babbling lunatic on the internet constantly. But then again, the world is full of many different types of lunatics this day and age. And uh, compared to the shit that we see going on, I guess I'm not that bad. <laughs> I want to show you guys something. And it's going to be a little bit narcissistic, and I apologize, but there's a reason for it. I'm going to turn my camera to the side here. And I want you to look at this. Do you see anything weird about my appearance? How about that big unga bunga brow ridge right there? That beautiful caveman brow ridge. What does that have to do with my video today? Stick around and I'll tell you. Crow Crow Magnum. That's the name of my YouTube channel. Why did I pick that? Well, it's an outdated scientific term for a group of Mesolithic or Stone Age skeletons that were found in France. The proper term that we use for them, or specifically that group of people, are Western hunter-gatherers. And the Western hunter-gatherers, alongside the Neanderthals, were the first Europeans. And they looked like this. The two faces on the right are facial reconstructions of Cro-Magnon men, or Western hunter-gatherer men, rather. And the face on the left is yours truly. Not much of a difference, is there? Now, some Europeans today resemble the Western hunter-gatherers, and some don't. Typically, you're going to find people who have that phenotype, that facial, um, uh, those facial characteristics of the Western hunter-gatherers in northern Scotland and Scandinavia. Why is that? Well, because the northern parts of Europe have the most Western hunter-gatherer DNA preserved. Because our second ancestors came in the Neolithic, the Anatolian Neolithic farmers. And when they came, they supposedly, according to the geneticists, had occasionally conflicts with the Cro-Magnon men and um, procreated with them too. So a lot of times today you'll see people who might resemble their 
Neolithic farmer ancestors or might resemble their Cro-Magnon ancestors or might resemble their Yamnaya ancestors or their Caucasian hunter-gatherer ancestors um, or are a combination of all, all of them. Now, Scandinavians, as I said, along with Northern Scottish people, Baltic people, they have the most hunter-gatherer DNA. But Scandinavia and the Baltics, uh, they're, they're a bit of a special case because they have blonde hair. Well, that's because they have Eastern hunter-gatherer DNA. The Eastern hunter-gatherers who were genetically nearly indistinguishable from Western hunter-gatherers and looked exactly like them had blonde hair. When the Eastern hunter-gatherers came to Scandinavia and the Baltics and that area, they met the Western hunter-gatherers who were already there, who had dark hair, and procreated with them, making the Scandinavian hunter-gatherer. But regardless, they look the same, identical. My Pictish ancestors resembled the Western hunter-gatherers, dark hair. Red hair came later from the Gals. And Scandinavians, obviously, blonde hair is more common over there. But still, same Mesolithic ancestors, same facial features, yada yada. But there's a bit of controversy, controversy that uh, surrounds our Mesolithic ancestors. If you're not familiar with him, there is another Western hunter-gatherer who has been talked about a lot in the past, and that is this one. Now you'll notice from his facial reconstruction, there's uh, some similarities other than the width of his nose and um, the lack of the very important Unga Bunga Brow Ridge. But what's most striking about his appearance is his very almost sub-Saharan African looking skin tone. Now, I wanted to bring this up because there is, and I don't care what anybody says, there is an agenda to make the European and the, and the, well, Eurasians in general, really. There is an agenda to make Eurasian people, uh, and, and by Asia I mean West Asia, Northwest Asia, um, and perhaps North Africa too. There is an agenda to undermine the ethnic individuality of these people and to make them feel bad for being proud of what they are and for existing. It is 110% an agenda of the elite. Which is bad. Because I've told you, I've found beauty in all cultures of the world that I've studied and I've studied many. And I think that no culture is lesser or superior to the other. I hate some certain schools of belief and thought, but I don't hate any culture or peoples of, of the planet, just certain beliefs. I'll get into that in the future because it's quite controversial. But there is an agenda to cause white guilt, which I think is really dumb because I believe that every single culture on this planet since time immemorable has blood on its hands. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. Let's get back on track. Did our Mesolithic ancestors have that dark of skin tone? I don't know. I'm not an anthropologist. I'm not a geneticist. I'm very much into anthropology and genetics, and I study it a lot. And I'm 
sure. In fact, I know that there are scientists who are not unbiased and are serving certain agendas, um, maybe even paid to say certain things. But I don't know. I'll give, I will give the anthropologists that claim our cro ancestors had very dark skin the benefit of the doubt. They very well could have had darker skin. I don't know about sub-Saharan dark. Because they, keep in mind, our ancestors were there since the Ice Age. But I think there is probably a firm possibility that they may have had darker skin. Not dark, dark, but darker skin. But I don't care if they did. I don't care if they had sub-Saharan dark skin. Do you know why? Because I have had geneticists and people who are really into genetics and anthropology look at my phenotype and say that I look exactly like the Cro-Magnon men. And if you look at that picture I showed you, I do. According to those facial reconstructions, which is really no surprise to me because I'm 100% Northern European genetically. So it doesn't surprise me that I look like them. So what that leads me to believe is that if they did have darker skin, they still looked with dark or light skin like a Caucasian. Thin lips. And by Caucasian, I mean people who are descended from the peoples of the Caucasus Mountains, the Cro-Magnon, the Yamnaya. You get the idea. If you don't know anything about those people, I'll talk about it in the future, but that's the, the bulk of most of our ancestors. The Cro-Magnon men, whether they had dark or light skin, had our feature. Thin lips, more narrow nose, prominent brow ridge, a lot of facial hair, this kind of hair. I believe that. Skin color to me, irrelevant. Dumb. But, The whole reason, I'm getting off topic, but the whole reason that the agenda is to undermine Eurasian people's pride and their traditions is because they, they, want, they want to create division. They want to create discord. They want to create chaos amongst the many cultures of the world. They want that to happen. Okay, it's just the truth. And it's actually quite sad because before monotheism came to Europe, we had similar moral principles that the Christians do. I'm not saying the belief in of itself of Christianity or the monotheistic religions, most of them, are inherently bad. Some of the beliefs or um, ideals of those religions are not bad. They have good moral principles. They really do. But what is bad about them is that they are killers of culture. Very successful killers of culture. When they forced us to convert, when Christianity forced us to convert, when Islam forced Iran to convert, we forgot about who we were. We completely forgot about the unique traditions that separated us from our cousins and our brothers and our sisters and our neighbors from across the borders back then that didn't exist. We forgot about that. We forgot languages. Languages. For fuck's sake. Because the objective of the monotheistic religions was to unite 
everyone so that they could be more easily controlled. And now in the modern era, it's almost sad to see the good Christians and the good Muslims who are looking at this depravity and being just surrounded by it. Like, like the Christian churches, for example, that are waving the fucking LGBT flags and shit. <laughs> Your Bible's pretty clear on that shit, you know? But those idiots still do it. And then there's many who, you know me, I, I don't like monotheism. But I respect the ones that are at least honest about what their book says. For the morons to go out there and are hypocrites about it, they disgust me. But... Now it's like Christianity is mm, not that big of a deal. Religion's not that big of a deal. The objective now, it's so, it's, it just, it defies logic to me. They're intentionally creating this discord, pissing off Europeans, pissing off North Africans like Egyptians. Trying to undermine our ancient ancestry with a bunch of bullshit by saying, Oh, we're all the same, so there's no point in caring about tradition or individuality or customs because we're all the same in the end. Boo, 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 boo. It's so weird how their intent, they know that it's going to create discord because people like me and like you are going to be like, That's bullshit. That's fucking, that's retarded. That's so dumb and so wrong. It's it's like you're just it's like they're saying not just for us, but it's like they're saying that no culture matters, you know, because we're just all the same. We're all the fucking same. We're not, but that's okay. It's beautiful. None of the colors are the same. They're all colors, but they're not the same as each other. Red isn't the same as blue. All the ancient Indo-European religions stem from the same ancient religion. They're all the same, but they're not. We worship the same God, but with different names. Or we did. There's nothing wrong with wanting to preserve individuality. Like, that's what I don't get. So they're obviously sowing the discord, right? And the chaos by saying this stupid, retarded shit. And just completely butchering history. And then at the same time, it's like... They're doing this because they want us all to be the same. They know that many of us are going to fight back and protest and say, No, fuck you. We have our differences and we want to preserve them. You've already taken them away from us with monotheism. But that's the point. Monotheism did its job. Because monotheism doesn't care where you're from. It doesn't matter what tribe you're from. As long as you worship Yahweh, as long as you worship Allah, then you're you're part of the big tribe. Fuck your language. doesn't matter. You're going to learn this language. No. You know? But it those already did their jobs. And now the monotheists are ranting and raving because so many people these days are turning their back on monotheism kind of like so many cowards turn their back on their ancestral religions but the point is for them to make everybody the same because when everybody's the same it's easier to control them and when it's easier to control it's easier to make obedient consumers Make sure you always live in fear. Always buy things. Make sure to worship the neutered fucking heroes instead of the the gods of old. You know, like your Marvel bullshit and your Star Wars crap and all that, that trash. So, in conclusion, what did our Mesolithic ancestors look like regardless if they were white? slightly darker skinned or southern african black what did they look like like me 
And no one can ever dispute that. We are distinct. And you should be proud of that. Just because a bunch of monotheists came into Europe and forced us to change our way of life and then went and conquered everything and did some good and did some bad, it doesn't mean that we need to be put in the same category as the greedy, selfish motherfuckers that have fucked the world, made the world what it is today. Their spawn of the wicked men who sacrificed our culture, our traditions for greed, for money, and their spawn are doing the same thing. My YouTube channel is called Crow Magnon because I am one. And if you're European, so are you. <laughs>